the evolution of our business has been around offering initially 20 years ago health insurance in South Africa. It's a country that has a very complex healthcare system, too few doctors, uh, very serious levels of disease burden and a, a regulatory framework very much like Obamacare, you know, community rating, guarantee issue, etc. And the epiphany I think we had 20 years ago was the idea of the only way you could offer sustainable health insurance was by making people healthier, by focusing on getting people engaged in wellness uh, and finding out how we price that in to, to, to insurance. And effectively what came out of that is a shared value model. Uh, we're in effect, by affecting behavior, making people healthier, that generates actuarial savings, and those savings are passed on to people in incentives that they'll actually do things that make them healthier. And so you get the shared value cycle. And that has, uh, come at, that has become the core uh, of the discovery business model through, through Vitality. Since the financial crisis of 2008, uh, society looks at institutions in a different way. Uh, and certainly millennials coming through, our new customers, are much more civically minded. So it's, it's critical that institutions like ours add value to society, and not just about a transactional relationship. The second important issue is that technology uh, is a massive disruptor, but an enabler. So in our context, wearable devices, Apple Watch, Fitbits, etc., are a critical issue, but they aren't yet linked into the insurance space. And then finally, the, the breakthrough I think we had was the idea that, that uh, behind mortality and healthcare and healthcare costs, Israeli behavior. We're finding now that more than 50% uh, of mortality is driven by lifestyle choices. So three, uh, three choices, smoking, poor nutrition, poor physical activity, lead to four conditions, cancer, diabetes, heart and lung disease, that drive 50 to 60% of all mortality. So obviously, if you can get on top of this, you can build a very different uh, kind of insurance model. And so getting back to our roots was the idea um, of, of, in a sense, building an incentive structure of vitality that would affect how people behave, make, them, make the right lifestyle choices for their health, and price that into health and life insurance. And so through that, we developed a shared value model. Many companies now around the world are using telematics to monitor how far people drive and essentially charge them based on how, how much time they spend in their car. So it's kind of an exposure-based uh, insurance model. What we've done is to try and use the shared value model. So essentially by actually incentivizing people to become good drivers, you know, um, measuring how fast they drive, their G-forces, their braking, etc., giving them feedback and their own points for driving well, and then giving them massive discounts on their, on their petrol or their gas if they do drive well, creates the same incentive, that same incentive structure and shares value. And so the shared value model, I would argue, uh, is not only a massive opportunity to disrupt because it's appealing to customers and society, but I think it's our responsibility because we have that revenue and therefore we can use it uh, for social good. And so we found a model that I think is actually conceptually quite simple, uh, but tends to fit in many different spaces. This model and this idea of changing behavior is a universal phenomenon, and our experience is quite clear that virtually every insurer around the world is trying to figure out this idea of the changing nature of risk and behavior, uh, and how you build that into a, into a cohesive model. The vitality, the discovery vitality shared value model uh, has, has, has the ability to globalize and that's what we're doing. And the idea is building a global vitality chassis that really works with the best and biggest insurers in their markets. And I think this, the model has the ability to really change uh, certainly global insurance markets, but hopefully make society healthy in the process.